Hello everybody, my name is Professor Tobono Ajak Barry from Barry Charles Lab and today we're going to be looking at Calculus Part 4 Factoring and Limit No seriously No seriously, my hand hurt trying to draw this uh, So, let's say we have this equation uh, f of x equals x squared minus 16 over x minus 4. <clears throat> what is the limit of f of x as x approaches 4? Well, this is not so simple. Oh yeah, uh, Mr. Alex Rodriguez also traveled with me to this class. Uh, thank you, Alan, Mr. Alex Rodriguez, for being here. Take my hand, please. Nice. Okay. So... I, I want all you guys, including Mr. Alex Rodriguez or Mr. Alexander uh, Rodriguez, to uh, guess what how we can do this. Five, four, three, two, one. It's gonna be zero over zero. Well, you will write the normal way. X squared is four. Uh, four squared. Sixteen minus sixteen over four minus four. Zero over zero. And that's going to tell you, you get you in a bit of trouble with the math police. But you, there is a way around solving this. You want to hear it, Mr. Alex Rodriguez? Well, look very closely. This is actually a difference of squares. So when you factor this difference of squares, this is what it would give you. X plus four times X minus four. And so we divide that by X minus four. And what we can do next is we cancel out X minus four and X minus four to get X plus four. However, Let's see how this looks when you re-graph it, because it's also not that simple. We will prove this on Desmos for those keen on that simulation. Four, six, eight. Okay, two, four, six, so six, eight. So, that's how or this is our coordinate plane. And now let's draw how the graph would look. It is pretty simple. But it's still a, a graph. So, it would look almost virtually the same as x plus 4. It would look nearly virtually the same as x plus 4. But... And the only difference is what happens when we do this and we try to get the y coordinate and it when the x coordinate is 4. So what, when the x coordinate is 4, oh, didn't quite draw that one right. Oopsie. So if I plot the point 4, since uh, it's at 0, Two at six, <coughs> and then three is at seven, four is at eight, and it would virtually look like this. But the uh, problem with this model is uh, well, <coughs> it doesn't account for what happens here because you see this is an open circle or not no and not an open circle but this place is undefined on the graph since you know uh you got in a little bit in trouble with the map police this is an undefined point on the graph so even desmos tells us this so if we open up our handy tool desmos Oh, uh, we have a visitor incoming. 
Guys, wait! Hello! Bye bye! Okay, so. Um, well, well uh, there's most. Graphing calculator? Graphing calculator? There we go. Second time's the charm, I guess. So, if we graph the equation I just showed you, this is what you get. So, x squared minus 16. Oh, uh, oopsies. Over x minus 4. There we go. And it gives us a, a line specifically similar to the one I drew. See? These match up, don't they? Well, just to make it, them feel more similar, I guess, we can always just do this, reverse the colors, and they look similar, don't they? Especially similar if we make them similar colors. Now they look similar, don't they? Yeah, I thought so. But then, when you get the x coordinate of 4, you mouse over that. 4, comma, undefined. See? 3.95, 7.95. And it goes there, and then undefined. And you can clearly see this is the same as x minus, uh, plus 4 as well. Because if we graph that, it covers the exact same trajectory. So, thank you everybody for watching. This is the uh, episode 4 of Calculus, Factoring with Limits. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Brilliant. Oh yeah, oh I forgot. Uh, Brilliant was, is today's sponsor. You don't have to say too much. Just uh, this <laughs> this video was sponsored by Brilliant. That's it. Uh, I just want to give like okay. It's, it's better to say this uh, instead of forgetting completely. All right. This <laughs> professional. This video was sponsored by Brilliant. This video was sponsored by Brilliant. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.